In a stunning revelation, actress Amanda Abington gathered her fellow Strictly Come Dancing contestants for an emotional summit at her home, where they all shared their grievances about working with professional dancer Giovanni Pernis. As the BBC upholds several complaints against Pernis, Abington contemplates further legal action against the corporation. What led to this unprecedented moment, and what's next for the actress and the show? Amanda Abington, known for her standout roles in Sherlock in a career spanning over three decades, has recently been at the heart of a major controversy surrounding her time on Strictly Come Dancing. In an interview with Victoria Derbyshire on Newsnight, Abington revealed that she hosted an emotional gathering at her home with fellow contestants who had been partnered with Giovanni Pernis on the hit BBC show. The meeting, described as a cathartic experience, involved the participants breaking down in tears as they shared their experiences of what they deemed to be unfair and harsh treatment by the professional dancer. Abington, now 52, recalled how the summit aimed to bring them together, ensuring none felt isolated in their frustrations. We all cried. We all burst into tears, she admitted, sharing how the discussion opened a floodgate of emotions. The actress emphasized that their experiences in the rehearsal room with Pernis seemed different from what other celebrity pro pairs endured, sparking a sense of collective unease. What began as an informal gathering turned into a serious exchange of grievances, painting a troubling picture of what some stars face behind the scenes on one of the UK's most beloved television shows. This revelation comes on the heels of a six-month BBC investigation into Abington's formal complaints about Pernice's behavior during rehearsals. Out of 17 allegations, the corporation upheld six, including accusations of verbal bullying and belittling language. Pernice, known for his perfectionist attitude, was reported to have used foul language and derogatory remarks during their training sessions, including statements like, If you want to look, I don't care and you have talent and you're not using it. These moments, while not deemed physically aggressive, were found to contribute to a toxic environment for Abington, who has been vocal about how this experience triggered deep emotional distress. Despite the severity of some claims, the BBC did not uphold allegations of physical aggression or sexual misconduct, though two incidents of inappropriate behavior, including a lewd comment from Pernice, were substantiated. Pernis, in response, expressed relief that the most serious allegations were dismissed but acknowledged the emotional toll of the accusations. He stated, It has been an extremely difficult year, but now I am fully focused on dancing with the stars in Italy. Abington's decision to take her complaints to the BBC was not made lightly. She explained that after just a few days of rehearsals, she felt compelled to speak out as her experience was unlike anything she had encountered in her 32-year acting career. The star, who has weathered significant personal challenges in recent years, referred to the ordeal as one of the most difficult periods of her life. Women go through a lot, she said, highlighting the backlash she faced after voicing her concerns, with some labeling her as a troublemaker and others questioning her mental stability. As Abington continues to navigate the aftermath of her complaints, she is now seeking legal counsel to determine her next steps. While the BBC issued a public apology to her, thanking her for coming forward and acknowledging the difficulty of her situation, the actress remains unsatisfied with certain aspects of the investigation. She alluded to what she believes are significant reasons why some of her more serious allegations were not upheld, fueling speculation that the story may be far from over. Amanda Abington's candid revelations about her experience on Strictly Come Dancing have not only cast a shadow over the glittering dance show but have also sparked deeper conversations about the treatment of contestants behind the scenes. As she contemplates further action against the BBC and reflects on the emotional toll of her experience, it is clear that this story is still unfolding. With both Abington and Pernice now moving forward in their respective careers, all eyes remain on how the BBC will handle similar grievances in the future and whether stricter safeguards will be implemented to protect participants from potentially harmful environments.